gotta um, get your eyes on him. Um, I know it's easy to put our trust in people and it's just kind of the thing to do, but I promise you, if you seek, you will find. Um, if, you'll, if you'll knock on God's heart, ask him to open up the word and show you, you know he will, he did. He's done it for you before. He doesn't change. He's the same. Yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's got more songs to put in your heart. He's got more uh, revelations to show you in the Bible. He's got more people to uh, for you to lead to God. More people for you to um, witness to. So I want to encourage whoever watches this. Um, remember your first love. Remember that. Remember that time spent with God. How precious. How there's nothing in this world that can replace that time with God and His Spirit. In that secret place where He talks to you as, as His child. Because you're His child. It's, and uh, you know what? The Bible talks about how when a child asks his father for a fish, God's not going to give him a serpent. He's going to give him the best. That's what God has for us. So I pray that you receive that, um, that, that you return to your first love. If you've left it, I'm not saying you have, I'm just saying I know what God told me to say tonight. Because I know how many times I've left my first love. And he's had to pull me back in. And he's had to remind me. That's where we get our advice from. 
So if you give, you know, if you ask somebody for something, um, you have to be very careful. The response could be coming from a place of bitterness, a place of brokenness. So I'm here to tell you, I know that if you uh, ask the Lord serious questions, and I'm talking about marriage, I'm talking about serious life-altering questions um, that can change your life forever, and you may not get it back. Those are the kind of questions I'm talking about. Serious things like that, we really have to be very careful who we talk to and who we get our advice from. So, you know, just that's just I'm being honest <laughs> from the Spirit of God. Uh, be very cautious where you get your advice. Uh, God will speak to you in many ways. He'll speak to you in His Word. Um, you know, He can lead you to a certain scripture he can lead you to a certain preacher he can even actually have somebody come to you and say hey god showed me this about you that's how god works um, so if you trust him with the you know with these hard things he's going to speak to you so you know and the reason i said i'm going to pray you know don't believe the lies of the enemy is because i had a very serious life-altering decision uh, concerning my marriage at one time and God showed me things about my marriage. You know, my husband came from a place of brokenness. He had, um, I'm not going to get into my husband's life story. I'm loving it. I'm a not out me too. <laughs> um, but my husband, you know, he had some broken things happen to him. So, you know, when you love somebody, you'll understand their brokenness and you'll love their brokenness. Because... You, you know you love them and, and a lot of times it takes God's love to do that but my point was I always went to the Lord over these things that I was worried about and concerned about and not people I didn't ask people in my church I didn't ask prayer for my husband because I didn't want people to get an image in their head of something that didn't need to be there because sometimes when we we say things about people to others, we automatically put up this, um, an image in their head, you know, they've got this preconceived idea of something, and, and it could be, could be all the truth, and it could not be, but then there was this time where I got tired of doing the right thing, and I decided, you know, it's time for me to do what I want, I, I'm sick of doing what's right, and I'm just being honest with you, this is the way I feel. And I've seen many people get in this frame of mind. They're like, you know what? I'm doing it my way from now on. And um, that got me in a lot of trouble. I started asking people for advice instead of God. And all that did was give me 100 different opinions. And I become very confused. And the Lord graciously, um, I almost lost my identity almost lost my purpose, my calling, what I knew God was going to do in my life, because uh, I had my eyes on the wrong things, and by the grace of God, He reminded me who I was, again, uh, so I'm going to pray, and pray that people don't believe the lies of the enemy, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, that your people, God, under the sound of my voice and whoever watches this, whoever you know, it's whoever you want to watch this, God, let them get their advice from you. Father, I pray for them that there'll be a check in their spirit every time they go to get advice. God, that there will be a check in their spirit about where they get this advice from. Should they say this? God, I pray, Lord, that that conviction, Lord, that they will answer that conviction, that they will listen to that conviction, that they will listen to that inner voice your spirit that says, don't do this, don't do that. Father, I pray for your children, God, that they understand you and that they know how to hear your voice, that you will teach them to hear your voice the way they can understand it. Lead them to the right resources, God. Lead them to the right answers. Lead them to the right speakers and teachers, God. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for your people that you will protect them from the enemy, from the enemy's influence, God. Let them know in their spirit. Spirit, Lord, 
when they need to repent and when they need to, to not do certain things, God. In the name of Jesus, by your mercy and grace, God, restore anyone that has forgotten who they are. Restore them back. Anyone who's gotten the wrong advice, God, I pray that you restore that in the name of Jesus. you know my my true identity my real true identity is in is in the Lord and what he's called me to do and he reminds me you know a lot who I am you know you're not like every you know he you know the Lord wants us to know that we are unique we're not like other people we're not made to be like other people we can be inspired by other people but we're all different um so you know I'm I'm speaking to the person who it's just don't forget who you are. You, because God's got some major plans for His people. He um, has a purpose for your life, a true, true purpose, a true, true calling um, that He wants you to stay true to. So just don't, you know, don't lose your identity, whatever that is. If you've lost your identity and you kind of can't remember, you know, why you're really doing what you're doing, <laughs> you're just sort of floating around and. I don't know, maybe maybe no one's like that. Um, but I know for me, I knew I was not in my purpose. I would know it. When I was not in my purpose, I would know it. I just would be so caught up in whatever I was doing that I couldn't see a way out. And for me, it was always my hair business. I would always get so busy for God, not for God, but so busy doing hair that I would, you know, I would forget um, the things that God was calling me to. And, you know, it was always a trap that I would fall in. And the second time, and I almost forgot it all. And that's scary. Uh, looking back, thinking that I almost totally forgot who I was called to be. Um, but God's grace, you know, he reminded me. It took a while. It took a lot of healing, a lot of physical healing. It took me being really sick and laying in the bed and not being able to do anything. Um, but he did. You know, he brought me. He 
brought me back to a place of remembrance. So I'm going to pray for anyone that is going through that, that God would bring you back, you know, to, of course, to your first love and help you to not believe the lies of the enemy and that you would know who you are and uh, remember who you are if you've lost that. God, I pray for whoever that is, Lord, in the name of Jesus. But they will not forget who they are. They will not forget the people in their life. They will not forget the people you've called them to. They will not get sidetracked and uh, weighted down and burdened with the cares and the riches of this world. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that every child of God under the sound of my voice will remember who they are and their calling and what they are called on this earth to do. To not get caught up in uh, the things of this world, God. Because you said if you're a friend with the world, you're an enemy with God. I pray for them, Lord, that they'll have a new revelation of who they are. That you will remind them who they are, Lord, and for the word of God to be revealed to them, Lord, like never before. In the name of Jesus. Your promises are never failing. Your promises are never failing. Your promises are never failing. Father, you are good. Your promises are never failing. Your promises are never failing. Your promises are never failing. Father, you are good. Yeah, so that's all. Three things I came on here to talk about. So, uh, God bless you, whoever watched and whoever watches this uh, later on in their life, whenever they find it. Uh, stay the course. Don't forget who God's called you to be. And uh, don't get caught up in shame and guilt. You know, uh, I did that. I got caught up in shame and guilt and felt guilty for times that I failed. You know, we're human. Uh, the but get back up. <laughs> get back up. It's not too late to get back in the race. So thank you for that heart, whoever did that. And God bless you all. Have a good night. And stir up your faith like never before. Stir up your gifts. Stir up your callings. Um, you know, watch more preaching. Read your Bible more. Watch more. Uh, li listen to more worship music. Do whatever you got to do to build up that faith in this hour. Because um, we all need it. Have a good night.